Welcome. Thank you for coming. More than unexpected. Um, title of the topic is leaving the comfort zone and building great and build great things. That's the official title. Uh, the unofficial title is Get Your Lazy Ass Off from the Couch. Um, so why why I'm talking why I'm talking about this? So um, we all know it's 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 so nice, warm, in the comfort zone. Uh, you know your stuff. There's no some, so much you have to, to learn. You can process your decisions. Your decisions are easy because when you say, "Okay, I'm a Joomla developer. I use Joomla. If I have a problem, then it's Joomla. So easy decision. Easy tool. Go for it." Um, so what I find out, and this is what I will share with you, I, I think it's very boring. And um, a couple of years ago, essentially two years, I had some eye-opener for me. And it was a bigger project we had with um, four Joomla developers. So this project has requirements, these are the requirements. It should be a site with many visitors, with uh, user management. It's not really Joomla. It should be a certain part application for the Joomla uh, for the user management. And uh, the site was supposed to be very dynamic and all this stuff. So it was two years ago. And yeah, you see four Joomla developers in this project. Solution Joomla. That's the way it goes. So, what are the problems with this? And um, we faced essentially two major problems. And one problem, sessions. I said it's a high traffic website and Joomla is not really so cool with sessions. You have to create, if you come off a website, then a session will be created and the stable gets fuller and fuller and fuller. So it's not really, really cool this way. And the second problem is, uh, the menu management is really only working when you have uh, the user management. So that was where the problems we are faced. We are faced, and we we start we started working on Joomla. We hacked it a bit, so because there was a lot of experience Joomla developers, so we could uh, we know where we have to fool the system that we can go around the um, uh, go around the session management go around the user management and use it in, in a way that it would work. But we, I think we all were a lot of, um, we weren't really happy with this because it was pure, it was a pure hack, a core hack. You cannot do it without the core hack. And it's something, yeah, all these kittens dying and it's, it's not really, really what we, what you will do. So then, um, at a Friday afternoon, we had a longer discussion about it. What can we use? What would be the right approach? And, and all this stuff. <coughs> and we decided to drop Joomla. But okay. We dropped Joomla. What now? So there are a couple of options. For this site, maybe uh, using Node.js would be a good idea. Um, but nobody of these four Joomla developers had really experience with Node.js. We said, no, that's this. We cannot really drop Joomla, go to uh, something new, and also to a new technology. So we said, okay, we stay with PHP. And we choose Laravel for this project. Um, one thing, um, so we all, all few, we were hired by a company to do some work for them. Um, we didn't tell the project management about, about the decision. Um, and said, okay, this weekend we will work on, on Laravel and trying to come to make a good step or a good progress in the right direction using Laravel and all the stuff. And um, I think Four or five years later, we were in the same state as we were with Joomla, as we dropped Joomla. So it was really, really, yeah, it was, it, it was 
fast, evolving, and, and developing it. It was it felt really good. So the question is, what is the good decision to do it? From a code-wise standpoint, definitely yes. It was a good decision, and I would be so happy if I could show you the result. But uh, the project failed from the management perspective, not from the code wise perspective. But it was a good decision. We worked really good on, on this. And then it was Laravel, Angular, uh, front end. Um, so it worked very well, but management was not really, yeah, not so good. So it failed. <laughs> For me, and, and that's, that's um, why I'm, one of the reasons why I'm standing here and talking about it. For me, this was some kind of domino effect. Um, I thought it, there are some other things to uh, you have to um, bring into um, your decision process what you are using. So I worked uh, a lot that, or um, I'm still doing Joomla websites and Joomla development. So it, it's more my free time. Was it in the I think in the first year? It was my, my, more my free time. I used to. Look into Laravel, to look into Angular, look into uh, Vue.js, all the things the cool kids play today with. Um, and it was really, really a good time for me, always to spend spend some, some time on, on looking at some videos. I highly recommend uh, Laracast, not only for Laravel development, but also for other development topics. It's a really good site and uh, it covers a big, a big uh, technology uh, area on uh, on this side. Um, so, what also changes? So, I'm, I was not really so. I didn't like JavaScript so much. So, I have to. to at home, I have a book uh, about uh, um, a technical guides. Uh, JavaScript is so big, and I have uh, one book. It's a good size of JavaScript. It's so small. Uh, um, so, uh, uh, today I like it more than I liked it um, two years ago. So that was my change and, and was, was what, I, what I learned in, uh, in, in, in this, from this project. I told you, uh, I said that, that you have to bring some more ideas or more into your process of uh, make a decision what tool or what technology you use. And I will tell you a, a case story. Um, I will not tell you what, what project it is, but it's, I call it project. Answers. So here are the requirements. Oops. So we um, have people on our site, they could allow some type of item on the site with some kind of data. You have categories, some other criteria for to categorize this this, uh, this item. Visitors should search for something and we need a voting, commenting, rating system, something like this. Anyone has an idea what this could be? Ah, come on. Really not? Okay. Um, it could be the Joomla extension directory as project. It could be something different. In fact, it is something different, but I, I, I go the path with the Joomla direction, um, extension directory because um, I will tell you what's what's I, I'm explaining you in this way the wrong approach, and just I will, I will not step on someone's toes. It's I'm only speaking from the technical viewpoint. So is this the right decision to use a tool like Joomla for a site like this? I personally, I think no. I think it's. Is it the wrong technology to use it? Because of what? 
We have uh, heavy searching on the site, and Joomla is not really good at it. And um, yeah, it's the wrong approach. So get or not. So. Okay, we go we go further. So we come to the key functions uh, from for this for Jane for Joomla extension directory or for the real project I'm talking about, but I use this as an example. Um, the key features for me in, in, in this in, in, in the extension directory are search and we have custom fields. So and the question is, is Joomla really good at this, at this type? of thing. Is it good at searching? Who is really good here? Okay. You know, it's not. So because we are using um, PRSQL, uh, MySQL queries to search, and so that's a really good thing, scaling and all this stuff. So that's not good. Joomla is not really good at this. Um, custom fields was the second one. Uh, custom fields it's, I don't know, we have an extension and it's supposed to be in 3.7 to go in to, to get included. And so, same, Joomla is also not good at custom fields. So, at structuring data, is Joomla not really good? So, I use it as, a, as, as an example what's when it's not the right decision to use it. So there are other, other aspects of making a decision to use Joomla for this, for this site, because that's our tool and it's our site and we should use Joomla and all the stuff. Essentially, it was this site. It's a German site I worked on, worked on with, with David Jadin. Um, it's Urlaub in Ferienhaus, holiday in, what's Ferienhaus in English? I don't know, holiday, yeah, like whatever. It's not Joomla. For search, we are using Elasticsearch. We are using Laravel. Surprise, surprise. And an Angular JS from that. That I think is a really typical setup for for a site side of uh, this for a site of this functionality. You have an easy way to search. Elasticsearch is really brilliant when you when you use it for uh, for searches. You only put data in it. You have to care a bit about the structure and all the stuff, but not really so much. But you can put it in and you can search it. It's full index. It's it's pretty fast. You can uh, you can have uh, a couple of nodes for 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 searching, uh, so it scales very well. Um, yeah, Laravel is a good tested framework, so that's not, not really, really a question. And AngularJS for a dynamic and the website and all this stuff, so it's also very good. So I, what I can do is, so let me, let me try this. Usually you should not, you should not do this, but... Uh, okay, that's good. Where is my screen? Ah, cool. Oh. So that's the site. And some people maybe we will, will find this. That's a network here. Hopefully. <laughs> I should never do this in presentations because we use the internet. Okay, I trust this. It's it's um, it's like um, it's more or less for people that don't don't know it. It's an Airbnb clone, some kind. Of. So, not you know. Let us let us move forward. Okay. So, what's in stock for 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 us when we when we talk about Laravel and and all this all this. Um, Things we have. Um, we have uh, from from a from a developer standpoint, it's very cool because we can all use all the known technologies like event broadcasting, command bus, and uh, all this stuff. So that's really cool. 
So I do actually suggest, if you are a developer, and not so many developers here, um, uh, to move to Laravel. No, I'm not. What I suggest is to um, use the right tool for the right job. That's it. So it's not really developer. But, um, but what, what we are you doing? You are a developer, you are a developer. And the other people are site builders, designers. We didn't get the question. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing for, 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 your, for your living? Going to, going to conferences and, and watching the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. So the question if we if we go if we go um, if we move a bit away from the from the developer perspective. So, um, there are other CMSs behind Joomla, or behind Joomla, besides Joomla, before Joomla, whatever. Um, why and the question sometimes I really ask me is why I need a full featured CMS to have a three pages website for one page, the presum and uh, imprint and whatever, one, one page more. So why I need a full featured CMS? Uh, I have to, to charge the, uh, the client to update the CMS every month or yeah, for Joomla maybe every month. So when you have to pay it, and, and, but you don't get really something. Why not use static HTML or static HTML generator? So there are uh, millions out uh, uh, on the market that can generate static HTML pages. That would be a very better choice to do it this way. Some, some friend saying that um, it's, I think that it, that's really a good code, good code. and um, if the only tool what you have is a hammer, then everything looks like a nail. So and that's have a bigger tool set. Okay, so I haven't seen that you are that you are not not so many developers, but I will move forward with with uh, with the developer more approach. I'm sorry for that. Um, so what we also know, it's Composer packages. This is a, a package directory for for development packages. You can integrate, and you can you can as really int good integrate into Joomla, and that's my way back to Joomla. And um, the integration of this is possible in, in a very clean way. And um, the clean way of doing it is first make your own library. That's a good idea. Add composer JSON, composer install that you have the package. Then you have to use the auto loader in your library. And if you like to see it, there is a on, under J beyond on GitHub there is a conference plus com component there you can see how I did it in, in the library. Essentially, the idea from for, uh, with the library is based on uh, the fact that it was uh, uh, from Robert Segura, P uh, PHP Roberto. We made this. Uh, up. So, okay. That's something we have said a lot of time when people are asking. And I, and I, I have said this uh, also years ago. Uh, when someone asks, oh, what is Joomla? What can I do with this? Is it the right choice? Yeah, you can do anything with Joomla. Joomla can anything. What you want it to be. And, but it's also um, right just because it can doesn't mean it should. So for me, and that's maybe the thing you should should get out of, get out of this talk is. For me, it is really fun to explore new technologies, work with new things, and spend time on this. It's also it's also uh, a great tool for procrastination. That's also good. So if you spend time on something, it's uh, it's good. You can watch a video and and uh, do your work later. Um, so I think it's fun. I think everyone should do it. 
and uh, that's the end of my talk. Thank you for coming. <laughs> if you'd like to follow me, you can go AirDoid everywhere. So, good. Uh, if you'd like to ask a question, I don't know if you have a question for a button. Oh, yeah, really? Great. Uh, are you making a choice between different uh, HP systems like Java, uh, uh, Juno, or uh, Laravel? What the kind of considerations you take into into account, what makes you choose one over the other? Um, well, for choosing the right to a framework. Yeah. So, um, when, when, I'm, when I, um, I think it's uh, some kind of com complexity of the project, it's, it's also a budget question. Um, so, um, uh, when, when someone comes with a very small budget, they have to use something that is there. That's one problem. Um, and uh, essentially, I'm looking for look look how much customizing is it. So if if you are um, if the only thing I use from Joomla is the con is that I have two um, article pages and a, maybe a bit of user management, then maybe it's not a good idea to have a big complex um, functionality besides this. But that's maybe not a good idea to do Joomla. Uh, then it's maybe a good idea to. Uh, to use um, to do something different and only put these two pages or three pages maybe as HTML uh, uh, on a given account. So that's all the, the idea. It's complexity, it's budget, and uh, it's essentially, essentially what's what's the shortest way to the goal and what is best in, uh, best maintainable in the future. Can you manage uh, okay? Certain sites start off as a kind of web pages and then they kind of, oh, wouldn't it be nice if we could do this? And then so if you kind of have a, a small fee, uh, product in the beginning, then it might not necessarily meet future requirements. Is that something you consider or is it just a. Uh, yeah, it's that, yeah if, you have, if, you, if you start with, 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 one, with one page and, and, and end with, with uh, what are, what are Wikipedia, then, uh, uh, then you have to. You have to stay to your to your decision at the beginning with uh, with the uh, with the information you have. So if, if on the way you find out that the uh, uh, that the requirements has changed and there it's a, it's a totally different project, then maybe you have to migrate. That's 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 what 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 we will do. So it doesn't. I think it doesn't make so much sense to stay to to stay to uh, uh, a solution that is bad. And I know it's bad. And I have to maintain the bad solution for 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 years, uh, just only because I will not change. Well, I started with this, so we are not we are not political people that uh, have to stay to your decision. And just okay, yeah. great point. Right there. More questions? Okay. Yeah. Um, I understand that you mentioned that uh, it's not worth it to use the tool like that. Project is very small, or because you have just a couple of HTML pages, maybe. In the other end, like in the example you showed, mm -hmm. I mean, the question is when do you choose to not use Joomla? For instance, you mentioned when search is very important because mm -hmm. you said that Joomla is not that good at yeah. search, or, or you, you mentioned that the sessions handling and stuff. Yeah, so well, well, which are like for you, which are yeah. the five top reasons to not use Joomla on a Oh, I don't, project. Think, I don't think there. I don't think there are five top reasons for, for not choose Joomla. Just uh, when do you choose to not? No, it's, I think it's, it's what I what I explained. Uh, the question, um, Rob had. Uh, it's 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 really to, to look what are the requirements and is it fi fits. What is what is my what what is my my what is the amount of work I have to make the system in a way that it works for the for the project I'm I'm working on. So if the amount of time I have to have to, to change the system or fool the system to work in the way I need it, if this is a big amount of time, then do something different because it doesn't make sense to to uh, to fool the system that it do it's doing what you will like it to do. Yeah, but maybe I didn't phrase it well. The, from a more technical point of view, I'm the developer. So uh, which technical parts do you consider to not use Joomla, like for instance? Uh, 
you, you mentioned that you could circle the, the session issue and build your own, like hacking the code, the core code. Yeah. Uh, it's but you couldn't really hack the, I mean, if you need a different type of search system, yeah. you wouldn't use Joomla anyway. Um, I think. So let, let me let me let me explore it or grow a bit. So because Jet is really a great example for 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 this for this, this, this thing. So what you could do for if search is really the only important thing for and what I think is for Jet. So um, then you could easily widen uh, an uh, on after save plugin for for um, for for the items you have put in, into the database. Get this data, put it into Elasticsearch, use Elasticsearch for search, and then go back to the site and use the site. That would be also a way to do it. Then you would get this one piece out of, you would use, use Joomla, but you would um, then um, fix this one problem. And that would be possible with Joomla also. So Joomla is a great tool, you can do a lot of things with it. But sometimes it's, it doesn't make sense. So. Understand that uh, uh, I'm asking this because what happens to me is what there was a, a slide that said that uh, I say to my clients I can I can do anything with Joomla. I mean, yeah. Uh, if you ask me anything, I, I just build it. I build an yeah. custom extension and I can do it. But I understand that sometimes there's no point doing it because uh, yeah. it's not the right. Approach. If you if you it's it's also a it's also a time problem. So if you don't, if you if you are busy and, and you are uh, are able to keep with your work, but don't have really the time to 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 learn a, another framework or another technology, yeah, then you have to concentrate on it. So, but I, that's not why what I would recommend. So it takes the time, takes the time, time off to learn or talk about new technologies, <coughs> to explore, explore other other. Possibilities to, to build solutions because it's if it's, um, maybe you don't use this technology, new technologies. It could be the end, uh, the other day maybe okay, I learned Angular, but oh, no, I don't need it in this break, this, 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 this break. I don't need it. But then you have explored in, in, in the new technology, and you have the knowledge to tell your client, ah, oh, no, I don't use Angular for your for your solution because this, 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 this. That are the reasons. Because I know the, the technologies that are on the market, and I can tell you this is the best solution. Uh, that's also some outcome. Yeah. Uh, do you think of approach to separate uh, backend system from frontend system? So let's say you use a Joomla admin for backend, and then uh, frontend to be done completely separately in Laravel or in anything else, but to fetch data from uh, which, which are created from the backend. So in this kind of year, I mix of two worlds. So uh, I had some uh, example of my, my friend, he's front-end developer. Uh, a client ordered him a site, but he can't do a full stack site because he knows some Angular and HTML. And I said, okay, you can use CMS and take this uh, client to the you create all, all the pages mm -hmm. in it, and you will take data about all these pages to buy Angular mm -hmm. via the uh, API. <laughs> and uh, can this approach be used in Joomla now? Yeah, definitely. Right. Well, you can, well, the only, only thing well, what Joomla is, is, is doing uh, uh, for, for, for the templates is it's rendering some modules and all the stuff. So that the rest API. No, 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 not, really. not, not the rest of the API, but you could, could hook into the template uh, yeah, and put... Yeah, much cleaner way. Yeah, but, but you don't have the REST API, so but you can build some when you like to build REST API for Joomla. Uh, but essentially, you can you can do it with some tricks. So it's possible to possible to do it uh, to have a uh, for uh, at the moment for I can can give give maybe in, in, uh, a more common example. So in Joomla, we have in front of it Bootstrap two, and that's uh, pretty old. We all know. Uh, but you can use Bootstrap 3. You have to override a couple of things, but you can use it. Um, and it's working, I think, in, in... Yeah, it's working very well. So you can do everything with Bootstrap 3 also. That's possible. It's, it's work to do it, but um, it's 
Yeah, you, you're not using the big part of the old um, front end uh, framework. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. But but I don't I don't have the tool for for making this clean approach. So I, I need I need I need the back end uh, back end technology, the REST API, uh, maybe uh, a different routing um, for for doing it with Joomla and with your green clean approach. But you can do it in some way. So it's not really it's uh, uh, if you if you or oh, I'm, I'm I'm turn it around. If you um, if you will have a front end or you're a front end developer, and the only reason is to need some back end um, for content editing and all the stuff, so don't use Joomla. I won't do this. <laughs> you can do it. So it's, it has some it has some uh, uh, some lots of nice nice side effects, but uh, I won't do it. Oh, sure, yeah. Sure. Oh, oh yeah. Um, how, how much time in your uh, project life, uh, span time, you invest in research, in presentation, for example? Uh, it depends on the project. <laughs> yes, 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 I mean, yeah, uh, I think if you, if you do it, if you do it, uh, if you do it, uh, so if, if you are, Yes, it's it's totally complicated to answer because when when starts research, when I when I look for a new tool or for a new technology, is this part of the research? But it, it's it, as it's education. And at the end of the day, um, I I spend some time to learn something, and then when I when I when I have a project and have others in mind and say, okay, that's maybe this way, this way. Then some research. Usually, I think it's. To, to make the right decision, or to, to have a first idea what is the right decision. And then you have to look, look into more into details when it's going, that's when it's a bigger project and it's getting complex, and you have to look more into detail. Okay. I think one of the pitfalls of, of that, I often do this as well, you know, like we're trying to research something and you can learn a new technology. Um, there's one thing learning a new technology, there's a certain things implementing it. That often the devil is in the detail, and yeah. you think, oh, hey, it's great. And then a few minutes down the line, you're going, hey, it's horrible. And then you have this kind of, um, um, yeah. that, that risk that you have to take on board when you learn new, new technology and wanting to implement it in a project. Yeah, no, yeah, but that's, that's my suspicion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll one more question. Well, you can ask me. I, can ask, uh, I mean, maybe tomorrow. Oh, developer related, yeah, but uh, I have to say that I haven't heard a lot of it before today, but I heard it already in like three talks. And uh, so my question is, is it uh, a difficult learning, learning curve to, you know, to learn how to use it? Yeah. Is, it is it super I easy? I love PHP, you are, it depends. It's, it's using, it's using a lot of new technologies. It's, uh, it's it basically, it's also in an MVC framework. Oh, it has an MVC framework. Uh, and it's, uh, has, uh, it has uh, some kind of ORM. It's called the Eloquent. Um, so it's, the, there's one difference between Laura and some other frameworks. You can yeah, install. Hmm? You just open the Laura Cast and learn it. Yeah, yeah, that's a question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So talk to Laura, that's, that's really good. Um, and and, and what, what you also can, you can really install it. You can run a composer, install well, Laravel, and you have a running project with everything in place. So it's working. It's not really that you have to uh, find bits and pieces and put it together. It's really a running, running um, um, application then. And then you can build on this on and, and, and make your changes. So that's so I highly recommend Laura. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to do it. To do to do the love of Yeah, thank you very much. Have a great day. Cheers. <laughs>